So a lot of you have seen the video we did recently about doing countermanding tasks where we do a figure eight in one direction with your arm and then a figure eight in the other direction with your leg, right? And that complexity, some people noticed, can make you feel nauseous or sick or some people it makes them feel lightheaded and dizzy. And this is a really helpful sign for us because it helps us get a window into the function of the cerebellum. And the cerebellum has this huge role in being able to attenuate or modulate activity of the brainstem. And what that means is it kind of holds it suppressed the way it should, like holds it steady. And when we see people that have dizziness or nausea that comes from that, it means that when we activate that system, it's not able to sufficiently hold that signal to the brainstem. And then we get a reflexive activation of either the emetic center or we start to feel dizzy or we start to get vestibular activation and that can be helpful. We want to further look at that by looking at how do people move in rapid alternating movements? Are they accurate when they move their finger to their nose? Is their balance normal or do they get titubations where they kind of had a head wobble or a trunk wobble? We can also look at the accuracy of where they put their feet when they walk or sliding their heel down their shin. And then we look at the accuracy of the vestibular system. Can they turn their head and still be able to keep their eyes on a target? Do they feel nauseous when they do that? Or when we look in the dark, do their eyes move around in ways they shouldn't? So even from this one little kind of silly thing that we do offhandedly looking at the way we move their arms can then lead us in to a place where we can understand more about what's going on in the brain and use that richness to be able to help design a treatment protocol that's going to help them be able to work through that, which is really cool.